talk to you guys about a book I've been reading. Actually, it's more like an instruction manual, which is, I'm finding very interesting, actually, because there's a lot of stuff in here I didn't know. But this is um, Danielle ex from Exploring Alternatives. I'm sure you've heard of the channel. Um, they just put out a book, and it's a guide to the van life. And there's bits in there from all kinds of van dwellers. She's got contributions from the entire community, it feels like. But more than that, it's a very extensive guide on how-tos, on everything from finding free campsites, finding, uh, you know, taking care of, of sewage, septic, um, dealing how to buy, how to shop for a van, all of these things. Um, kind of wish I had this a couple years ago, but uh, if you're looking to get into the van life, I, I highly suggest it. It's an e-book, so super portable. I can put it on my little e-reader, which is also very handy for a van dweller. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Today I have a fun day lined up. I'm doing a promotional video for a charity golf tournament, which often ends up being a whole full day of fun and work, but fun for like about one minute worth of footage. I'll uh, try and finish it and include it in this vlog. So today I'm doing commercial work. This right here, this is what I do when I'm not recording vlogs. And Get to work! <laughs> exactly. What are you doing? Exactly. You're in vlog time. What are you doing? This is my life. Get to work! Please save me. Drone. Please. So today's work is a short promo video for a golf tourney, a charity golf tourney, um, up here in the Mount Cascade area, so it's freaking gorgeous. So well, here we have a wild salmon in the jungle, he's videotaping these uh, human beings. Alright, I got a lot of the establishing shots, but now I have to go find a bunch of rowdy boys, because it's a sports bar, it's a promo for a sports bar, so I gotta go find the rowdiest, drunkest of the boys and uh, get some of that party video footage that they're always looking for. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, now you guys are all gonna be quiet? Is this what's up? <laughs> find the rowdy boys yet, but I've definitely found some of the rowdy gals. Uh, so I'm back on the road. I'm trying to find these guys here. This is the kind of stuff I go through just to get some belligerent hooligan footage. Ridiculous, really. Alright, I think I found them. They're right around this next bed. These guys are uh, something special. Let's check up with them. I found the belligerent guys. They're they're right over here. <laughs> He's like, wait, I got the break. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you missed me. He's like, I got the break. He doesn't even have to fucking move his foot. Guys, it's dusty. I have no lenses. So, sometimes my job's kind of weird. Sometimes it involves hanging out with a bunch of bros and watch them smack each other and get mildly homosexual with one another. Now I'm gonna go try to find some food. 
apparently uh, the Senate's got a good thing going on here. They got some good food and cooking, so I'm getting hungry. Hey! Things are winding down. Things are also starting to get weird. Uh, I think I've got pretty much all the clips I need. I got like one more drone shot and one shot at a car that I need to get, and then I'm done. And all of this work for one minute of video footage. Video production's a lot of work, man. A lot of work. Shoot is over, wrapping stuff up, we're heading back into the city, and uh, I scored these sweet sunglasses though, so I mean like... Jelly! gonna reach out to some of my friends and see what they're up to tonight but I just realized I have a lot of work to do like a lot of editing so uh, I'm just gonna chill out here in the van tonight and uh, get some work done I'm gonna try and edit the first cut of this project that I was working on today for those of you who don't know Ashley moved to Toronto um, which kind of sucks because you know she's a good friend and but she's doing great things out in Toronto so including coffee she got me this really wicked bag. Apparently this bag is like 60 bucks. So, this might be the best coffee I'll ever have. I'm gonna give it a shot and see what it's like. It's a lot of chocolate in that smell. But it doesn't smell dark, you know? Usually a dark brew, dark roast coffee, and it has that uh, chocolate smell. Still quite light, but definite chocolate. That is extremely smooth. I'm trying to think of something to say to describe this, but... It just tastes good.